Out in Los Angeles, criminal defense attorney Dimitri Gorin, who, among other things, an adjunct professor at the Pepperdine University School of Law, also the UCLA Speech and Communications Department, and he is also a former L.A. district attorney, where he had spent much time as a prosecutor out there. Dimitri, welcome to you. Uh, Sarah Kaplan, that whole issue with her refusing to testify, the judge finding her in, a con in contempt and ordering her jailed again, so the viewers know that has been stayed, and they're supposed to get have, have some action in the appellate courts very soon here. Uh, firstly, were you surprised at the judge's ruling, the decision that says that this whole area is not privileged and confidential? I was not surprised. Um, again, one of the first things I learned in the DA's office, as well as something I've observed as a defense attorney, is you don't want to make yourself a witness to anything. Um, and here, um, I understand the proactive defense strategy is to be present with the defense experts, the forensic people, Dr. Lee, Dr. Bodden, whoever other, whoever other investigators they had out at the crime scene to collect evidence. But in that regard, you make yourself a witness to that type of evidence collection. Clearly what Ms. Um, Kaplan observed was inconsistent with what Dr. Lee said happened. And so that is not covered by attorney-client privilege. It is not a communication between the attorney and the client. And therefore, while it, it, it raises ethics issues about a defense attorney testifying against his own former client um, in the people's case in chief, I don't think there's a legal basis for that of <laughs> prevent her or preclude her from testifying. And I think it's going to, uh, the Court of Appeal is going to be hard pressed to find a way to overrule what Judge Fiddler is ordering, namely that Sarah Kaplan must testify to her recipient of uh, observation of evidence gathering.